Hello and welcome to another Near Reading cast. As always, my name is Jono and I'm joined by Joey. How's it going, Joey? Hello. Um, it sounded like you're, you're tired of being joined by Joey. Uh, it's been so many games still, back to back to back to back. Still joined by Can't Joey. Can't get rid of me. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, uh, this is game two of the final from the Bristol Store Champs. Uh, these guys have both had one loss each now in the elimination. Yes. Um, and they're going to play each other for, it turns both out, the, to each other. the fifth time. That's true. For the fifth time today, because they also played in Swiss. Um, so on the left hand side we have Chris Dyer from Exeter playing his wizard, um, a kind of Dumble Fork build. And on the right we've got Dave Coolerman, a student from Southampton, playing his Asset Spam NEH. Um, yeah, so quite an interesting uh, matchup we discussed a little bit. Uh, also trash, I think Mumba Temple yeah, turn one. Yeah, so hard to see trash. I'm, I'm yeah. almost surprised he, no he did that and didn't just wait till he had three to install. So at least when he res it, you can res something else with it and so on. So yeah, forth. it's good to install multiple things. It also yeah. left R&D wide open. Yeah, it's always, always a risk of a turn one medium. Yeah, right? there's two mediums in double fork, I think, normally. So that okay. is a bit risky, but... It throws a turntable. So does that mean, now, that's a good card against any uh, NBN, as we saw. He might have another one. He must have another one in <laughs> hand, right? Yeah. He did also install a um, wild side. Right, so we're going to get two remotes. Ah, see, that's and more then like a turtle it. backs. Yeah. Three uh, installs okay. is much better than two. And but it's still going to get trashed. Wiz only has two credits. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's four to trash Turtleback, so he can trash it for one, of course, yep. with his three Wiz Bucks. He might want to run the other things in case there's another... It's probably not a Mumba Temple, but... Might want to run it It could be an Astro, yeah. Yeah, it might be an Astro. That would be huge. I think that's what David needs to do. So, in fact, he takes score. three credits. He only had three clicks, of course, because he has Wild Side. Uh, so he just takes three credits, which suggests he may have drawn a Shaw Gamble. He tries a Clone Chip and uh, I want to say Spooned, but I'm not sure. A cutlery for sure. Um, possibly wants to install Liberated at some point, and you can't. So we're going to get an optional draw and then install for. There was no Astro draw, draw and credit for David. Yeah. Um, and Arsenal and D. Yep, seems fair. But this shows that it's already getting a little bit away from Wizard in terms of well, the asset. I mean, it is, but this is just asset spam any age. You just, you just. Yeah. But he you can't kind of ignore it, he right? Can, he can trash the ones he needs to trash. I he think can trash the high tempo ones without taking a hit himself, which is huge. There's an argument, and it looks like this is what he's going to do, of trashing the resed ones. Yeah. So once they pay to res it, at least you can trash it. It also limits how many things you have to run. So he can trash it just to. There's a kind of economic denial there. But you get that very does few mean uses. that David can sneak out. Yeah. An so Astro. there's an argument as well to, have to to checking some rights. So it's late game, you've got no ice left, you've got medium down, your assets are all gone. So, yeah, starting the scoring with assets by NEH is quite tough because the influence is spent on Turtlebacks and Team Sponsorship and Astros and Sansans, and probably not on Biotics, which means the only way you have of scoring is sneaking Agenda out or uh, Sansan. Yeah. Now, obviously, Wizard can trash Sansan, and ideally would, probably one down. but you can, to form a better phrase, sneak out Sansan. Yeah, he did, he did check the newest... Card. So, yeah, he did check the card that was installed last turn. Yeah, so like because he knows the others aren't an Astro. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, Tower and he and he yeah and he also um, he'd not run for a couple of turns, so maybe he'd allowed uh, David to feel confident about sneaking an agenda out because he, he wasn't checking face down cards, and that of course that's when you change speeds and you do that. So now do you, do you run and trash turtle backs or do you check one of the two new ones? Well, it's a good question. Hmm. Forcing some races is a good idea. I think there's a risk there's an Astro on the table, but you can't run all I three of these da things. I think David's, David's, he's he's a very sensible, he's careful run HQ. You player. think he just wouldn't put him out? I don't think he'd do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Need that element of risk. No, I, he, he would do it in the right situation. This yeah. may be it. It depends on his hand a bit. Um, it's tough to work out. If Chris is erratic about when he runs and when he doesn't, when he checks and when he doesn't, the thing about an Astro is it's probably the most valuable card in your deck, so you don't want to risk it. Like You only want to sure. put it down if you're... Yeah. Very confident. And that's what he's you not have to check. do. You yeah. have to you have to work out how sensible your person is. Like I know for a fact, if I'm playing Tim, don't mm. check anything because I'm he, he will almost never put the Astro down. Mm. Um, that's true. Whereas if you're playing me, but I think if you check if you check <laughs> no, every no, single no, time, yeah. then that's too much of a tempo hit yourself. So yeah. you need to be erratic, and how erratic depends a little bit on how on who you're playing. You Ooh, so he did sneak out a breaking news. And he's going to trash the wild side. side. Seems strong. That's less and much less of a risk and much and, a, and almost as high a reward. Um, yeah. So, that's so that huge. that is strong. Um, no money. No I, wild side. I have not seen if a wild side has gone past and if he's trashed a copy. Because <clears throat> otherwise he's now got a draw. Um, he may be out of wild sides. It's not. Which makes not 
I expect there's three, but yeah. which makes Faust very hard to power, especially when you've got to beat wraparounds. It really does. Yeah. <clears throat> so David looking really good here, actually. He's got a little bit of checkle economy. He's he's not super rich. Um, but he's got I'll, a pad and a turtle box. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see one of those trash. Maybe the pad, well, either one actually. Um, turtle box maybe actually is higher value. If he gets a member trash temple, soon. if one of the, if he stores yeah. things here and there's a member temple down, I think that. And if he can start to run away with it. Yeah. So he's thinking of resing something. Jackson. Okay. So I wonder what that card he installed just then was. I mean, um, for, for sweeps. Okay. So now the money's back up. I expect by now it's possible there's a sand sand on the table. Could have been one early. Yeah, I think that's my um, only sand. So if he can get the money up, he he needs to be in a position so that when he draws the astro or something else, he, he can score. Certain, he almost certainly has genders in hand. Uh, uh, I mean, he's double iced HQ and the game's been going quite a long time and he hasn't been putting them down. So I I think it's pretty clear. If it, there's a sand sand down. Now is a good time to try and score. Less. Yeah. Um, so wizard trashed um, turtlebacks. Turtle so I th and I think this seems to be Chris's plan, and I think it's a good one. He's going to um, he's going to trash the thing, the highest value things that are rezzed. He's going to let he's not going to check really remotes except erratically, but he doesn't want to let um, turtlebacks especially survive for very long. Uh, so I expect this one to die very soon as well, because it is going to pay out a lot. It could pay out, you know, two or three cards, two or three credits a turn, right? Um, See, now yeah. is the time. It's like there's definitely agendas around. You draw so much any age. Either they're going down now, yeah. or they're in his hand. Yeah. But fortunately, but if for, in his hand, he fortunately can't... for David, he's not okay. really in a pressure to. Chris isn't really in a pressure to, to pressure in there, like. Yeah. Um, so, he, so he does trust turtlebacks, um, which means he's used his his whiz credits. I wouldn't be surprised if he runs, say, the pad next time. DBS, he would really like to. I think he's just trash. I think he's just checking for agendas now. He's trying to be confident yeah. that Davey's not sneaking out agendas. He feels like now is the time to do it. San San, you really want to trash that. And he, I mean, he could have. Uh, he decides not to. He draws a card. If that third one is the agenda. It's, it's possible. No, it's not. I think. Look how short there is left in the deck. Like, Davey needs to score. Well, any H? Maybe. He's got a Jackson. I mean, he's not going to deck himself, really. Um, so daily business show is going to be good because now he can um, adjust what he draws. He can avoid being flooded, for instance. Um, There's just not many cards left there. He's going to. Eat. Yeah. He's going for the sand sand score. I think he's got it. If he does, if he has an agenda, I think it's a good idea. Uh, he might consider protecting it. Well, we'll see. So he's going to draw um, and then install for a draw. Uh, mm. He really needs. He, he must be digging for an agenda. He must not. He must not have them. He does protect the Sansan. He's digging for the agenda. So he's wow. going to protect the Sansan. I mean... Because if he has an Astro... The thing is... Scored it. I th yeah, I think that's only true about an Astro, though. I think if you draw like another breaking news, you don't bother. Or if you no, draw a... Beal, probably not. A Beal, you probably keep it. You, you want to score Beal... Scoring Beal off Sansan isn't the end of the world, actually. But you'd, you'd rather get the Astro through. Um... So with this DBS, he's got to by now have a... But now he's got protected Sansan, he might score Beal. Well, that's it. So the fact that he iced that Sansan... Do you think that um, Chris would have run and trashed it otherwise? I think you do, right? As I say, there's no way to get off the ground um, with this deck without using a Sansan or sneaking out an agenda. Um, because it won't have biotics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think trashing Sansans means and keeping you might all have, remotes. You probably one biotic. Yeah. You think? Even still one? Maybe. Yeah, yeah see, I don't run one, but I run three NAPD, so that takes up that slot. Yeah, I mean, so it could be. You know, have one biotic. It might be influenced on ice, that kind of thing as well. Yeah, yeah possibly. Um, yeah so it's possible there's a Baltic um, for exactly that reason to just help you out when you're in a jam but let's see has he got has he got it no it's Mumba okay, so we got Mumba's okay so we're going to resin Mumba Mumba res another Mumba maybe <laughs> <laughs> so he can now res two things before his turn ends so he's going to res the team sponsorship yep yeah, seems good and the second team sponsorship yep yeah. So now if he is going to score, this is going to be pretty good. Back, as back. the assets start flooding back. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. daily business show is going to help as well. Oof. Yeah, Chris is going to struggle a little bit here. I can't believe he hasn't got Santan yet. Uh, hasn't got an Astro yet. This is um, unless he... he might have just got one. Let's find out what he's thinking about. Oh, so he's going to res Santan. Looks like a good sign. Four credits. For four, because uh, he's the Mumble Temple at the end of the previous turn and at the start of this turn. Yeah. He is just a bill. He was waiting for the Astro. Um, but it's worth it for double. If you've got the points, you can get it out. You've now got Mumba Temples and stuff online. You, you're 
your assets have kind of hit that critical mass as well. Well, And the fact that you've got two team sponsorships makes scoring the agenda even more valuable because you can bring back... uh, So, was it Mumba he brought back there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, So you can bring back Mumba and maybe a Turtlebacks or... Santan, if there's one in there or something. Yeah, maybe. I mean, uh, the only stuff in there will be stuff he threw away. Um, He got an NEH draw as well, so he could check that. Ironically, that's always that's that's the time it's in Astro. That's the best. One. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't score it, so not this time. Yeah, so we need to. I think it's the tailbacks, but uh, I mean, Jackson even. Jackson's not bad. It's not yes. a terrible choice. Sure. It doesn't really matter. Pad, pad sure. Yeah. It's a good card. <coughs> He's probably not going to stall a lot more of assets now. No, that's probably unfair. Yeah. There's probably plenty more. I still think you have to keep trashing them as as Chris. At least the Mumba. And the pad, like ah, the money cards. Right, turntable. So turntable's not as good when there's no Astros on the table, mm. like scored. But I mean, that um, was David's plan. Don't score the Astros. They get turntable. Yeah, let, let him take the Astros. I think he installed it for memory as much as anything. Um, this does suggest that David has not been drawing the agendas though. Yeah. Um, well, he's got to score a handful of bills. If you as possible. So Paris on the wraparound. Okay. So the the turntable probably doing no more than memory at this point. Yep. Um. He's going to run here. Okay, I guess trying to force a res. If not, he can trash. Okay, so another Mumba Temple appears. The other one hasn't been cast. used either, right? The other one's been used this turn. He okay. he res a Sansan <laughs> on his oh, turn. Right, yeah. yeah. So during the run of turn, it is used. But he wrap can res a wraparound for, for that's three wrap effectively rounds one credit. That's, that's, that's your barriers there. A ra- wraparound is a He's good card against something along fast. the lines of three wraparound, three archangel... Like a Gutenberg. Just or a, imagine if that Faust was a Croda. Just imagine how much easier life would be. <laughs> Just imagine if that Wild Side was a hard at work as well. <laughs> well, this is why the Ice Suites have got no. very weird index nowadays. So he does. Uh, he does still break through and trash the Sansan. Expensive. I'm not at all convinced it's the wrong decision though, no, because it, there's still no fast advance options. So, um, okay, so we're going to res a pad. He's going to have to pay for that um, because he used the numbers. Inefficient. Yes. Still fine. Yeah, still fine. DPS still fires. Yeah. You still take an Astro if you see one. If you see an Astro, uh, well, you do you have to? Because you need to score it. I'm not sure how you score it though. Yeah, well, you put it down. I mean, you might pass. Yeah, I guess you keep it because HQ's put it in blank. Under, put something else HQ's under no ground. HQ's under no pressure at all. So. I don't think you put. It high, so he has got a Bartik in hand. So you are quite right. Yeah. And then also you. It's unlikely also, to have multiple. But. Also, you put something else behind the. Um, Oh, he's going to install on this first remote. Another Santan, perhaps. It's interesting that he defended the other one. It's obviously because um, Chris saw that one, so he felt it needed defending. So he did have another Santan. He goes down to zero money. He does. Score a Beal. Score a Beal. Sad times. But he does have a Santan. And he can use the team sponsorship to bring back the other Santan. (laughs) Put it behind the wraparound. Excellent. Yeah, he can also... Install like a pop up window or something in front of the Rose Sand Sand if you want to, which is quite big. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's not a bad idea because he has to run it, he has to trash it. So, indeed, we get Sand Sand behind that. Um, I don't think there's a pop up in the bin. He's never going to afford to res that Sand Sand, that's the point. Might have one in hand. But is it, cause it, why install the Sand Sand when you've got a biotic in hand and five points? Like, you know, <laughs> you know you're out. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's true. If he's got a biotic, it does change it a little bit. I think bit. what you want to do is get pop-up windows down on your centrals and stuff like that. Just you need to, to get rich. The thing is, he's going to get rich. He's got two pads. Like He's going to make money. And he can res, he numbers. can res stuff for free every turn as well. So And and Chris really has to spend a turn trashing the Sansan. Ah, yeah, yeah. So that's the reason. You've got to pay for biotic. But with two Mumba. numbers, you can res Sansan for two. Yeah. So actually, that's he can the, score that's the cheaper credits. way of scoring if it survives. Um, he needs four credits to score. Which yeah. And the agenda, yeah. So he potentially next turn, if he clicks credit, credit, and he gets to a pad. Uh, well, he can't do it in one. Yeah, he can get up to four. So we're going to run... Um, so we ran archives to get uh, three suckers. A little, little dangerous, because they could have been a CVS. Um, but we're going to get uh, Jackson. Well, that was a 15 minutes. I mean, you could... You could let him have the 15 minutes, except that he's got turntable, so you don't. Oh, okay, yeah, no, you yeah. definitely, definitely <laughs> yeah. don't let him have 15 minutes. Because then suddenly you're not going to win the yeah, game without, in a turn and a half. You're going to win the game. Yeah, without turntable. Um, Probably let him have it. I mean, you could. It's just click to shuffle R and D, right? I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. You're right. He needs Maybe. four credits to win the game and and a three for two. Yeah. And uh, 
he's feeling like he's in a good position. Prefix. So that that yeah. Sansan, the unprotected one, was trashed. Um, but but this other can, one is around. He's going to run into if he's got medium and well, he can't afford to install medium, but he can definitely run into R and D now. Trash. Yeah, which is going to happen. Yeah. And that's not unfortunately <laughs> for him not a pop up window in front. Yeah. So I wonder it's if you. An archangel. Yeah, I mean, it's not wrap around. No. Uh, yeah, so you're going to access one. Oh, Steel. the whole game he's been trying to get hold of an Astro, and then the first so time Chris it. sees R and D, and he gets the Astro. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. You, so you do take it. You don't turn table because, yeah. as I say, it's an edge case, but twenty four seven could be a thing. Um, and it's Astro counters are valuable. So, yeah, so I think that's right. Um, so two from Pad. I wonder if you just take. So he's going to uh, DBS draw. I wonder if you just take three credits. Um, he needs at least two. Yeah. So I wonder if you just take three and then just wait for an agenda. You got DBS. Yeah, always might have one in hand. R and D's not super yeah, safe. Yeah, uh, if you take money, so you can. Uh, there's waste. no medium. Yeah, but. So one at a time, he's not going to get yeah. five points. You're right, but soon maybe. Who knows? Uh, also, if he takes uh, one point, he can turn he it to two as well. He has a way of getting three credits as well. You just install them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can do that. So he's going to raise that with Mumba, and then install for a card and a credit. Install something on the. Seems good. Install something on the um, um, sand sand just to. Oof, force him to do it. CVS. <laughs> yeah. CVS on the he interesting he needs four credits to win the game oh yeah but he's getting pad money That's he's got good. pad money yeah. yeah okay he needs four credits and yeah. he can use members to help res ice as well so he's got effectively five credits because he's got one unspent member right but he needs the four to red oof ooh see so, I wouldn't have done that I don't know killing Faust is pretty good it absolutely protects this Sansan -san, right he can't even threaten yeah, the trash. Yeah, but now he can't score. Now he can't score out next turn. Maybe oh, no, he can because he gets his mumbas back. Because he spent mumba. He spent, yeah, he's he's only spent one credit to he do that. One credit, which yeah. is what he had to spend. Yeah, you're right. That's fine. Yeah. So now, now it's very yeah, tough. Right now it's very tough. I for was Chris. worried that he couldn't, he couldn't score out. But um, you're right. Yeah. He's actually got another credit to spend. It's very hard. I think Chris has to trash a mumba now to force him not losing the game. Uh, so let's see. Let me think about this. He can um, so with two members, he can raise the sand sand for two credits. Yeah, which he has. Go for two credits. Um, yeah, and then he gets pad. Okay. Had he trashed, had Chris trashed a member there, he wouldn't have been able to. So, yeah, so uh, now, if Chris has got three for two in hand, that should be game. And he's going to draw two, so that'll help. Let's find out. <coughs> yeah, looking like it. <laughs> so we're going to raise the sand sand for two. And he's got two credits left, so. Yeah. yeah. So he scored the agendas in approximately the reverse of the order he wanted to score yep. them, but he did get the win. Um, even though every time he used the sand sand, it got trashed uh, by Wizard. So there, there, there is something to be said there for playing against Wizard, as you say, but it's really tough as Wizard in that position because it's and it's not the money. Uh, it's a little bit the money, but it's the clicks. It's the clicks to run. You know, if you if you if you check all the remotes because you're worried about an Astro, then you don't build any rig, and yeah. if you only trash, if you only trash stuff when it's rest, I think that's the right medium. I think that's the right kind of in the middle choice that Chris made. Yeah. He decided to let him have the remotes, try and occasionally check for Astros being snuck out, but um, wait for the stuff to be rest. And when it was a threat, so Turtlebacks died straight away because they're always dangerous. He trashed Sand Sands when he could. Um, so I think, yeah, I think Chris played it fine. It, it's yeah. just it's just really hard to. Did it help that David didn't see an agenda? Because it meant he could just put down a bunch of good assets, and when he had the agenda, he was definitely set yeah. Up. Not being flooded is great, but there was times when he could have scored. scored. He could have scored didn't. faster. Yeah, yeah he, right. he, I think he was he was digging for agendas, but obviously the idea that you can just keep spamming out assets and not get flooded, I think that's great. But mm. that's often how you lose that matchup is you get flooded. But yeah, because yeah, you you get the agendas before you ready to score them. But he had the other opposite problem. He 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 could was ready to score them before he got them, but. You know, he, he did well. A lot of players won't even won't won't have scored the bills that he he pushed out, spend all that money. They'll just oh, I'm gonna wait for Nastro. Yeah, for wait for um, but he made. I think he made maybe he just trade. got bored of waiting. Once he once you got two numbers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you just rest Sansan because you can, and, and you two, might as well score an agenda. And two and two team sponsorships. And that's it. Yeah, the and two you sponsorships. do need to win the game at some point. Yeah. So yeah, no, well done, yeah. congratulations, David. Yes, winning so they, four, 
five four still champs I'm not sure he won a lot but he won this one as well he won this one. so we can we can say with some certainty he won, he won the Bristol still champs yeah. he won Woking um, because he he beat me in the final oh did he yeah oh, I'm, I was in the I'm winners final you. as well he did yeah, yeah. and he just beat me twice Woking. yeah Okay, um, yeah, so uh, congratulations to um, David for... Uh, I didn't play him on the day, I did play Chris. I, I got a little bit murdered by his soul. And, yes. um, I I would... Uh, so when I played Corp against Chris, I did lose, and I was any age, and I did lose to Wizard. But I was also unbelievably flooded, like hilariously flooded, yeah. like kind of eight agendas out of ten cards kind of flooded. Right, yeah. Um, and we had a rematch, and it was actually much closer. I think I actually might have, I think I won the rematch. We had a friendly, because I lost so quickly. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say that we split, even though the, even though you, you the results, actually didn't split. The results might yeah. say otherwise. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I didn't, I don't, I may have never played David. Um, I played, oh, him, I played him a few yeah. times. I played him in the yeah, Swiss and the one. elimination of Aldershot. Uh, yeah, I think it was Ultra, yeah. 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 Could well have been. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, and then and then in Woking we didn't play in the Swiss, but we did play in the winners final and the mm. final final twice because he beat me twice. So uh, him, yeah, so. good play. They're both yeah, good players. Very good so player. congratulations yeah. to him. We and... also mirror matched, which is really interesting because I was playing Noise always, and, and, and okay. um, Assets Bam, so. Yeah, okay. Um yeah, so um I'd like to thank uh, Andy Parsons for tearing on the day. He did a yeah. good job. Um it's very smoothly run and uh, Excelsior games in Bristol for hosting. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's a, it's a good venue. Um, we can, and it was uh, it was full. It was, yeah, it was yeah. Really I know full. it was. I know they it's had a capacity. they had a limit of 48, 42, something like that, and they sold yeah. it out. So, mm. um, uh, yeah, so it was great it was, to it was see. Good, yeah. um, my own day was. Uh, I I had a good first couple of rounds actually. I um, I might have even been four and zero after the first two rounds, and then I went zero and four against Chris's. Yeah. Um, and then I um, I think I swept my last round as well. So I did okay. I missed out on the cut, but. Um, I don't but not by much. Yeah, not by a lot. Uh, but I did miss out on the cut. But it was, uh, yeah, it was a good day. It was all right, good. actually. Mm. Good, good. Yeah, no, it's a good got a bunch of people down in Bristol, so I imagine it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a good. It's just a good group. It's a little. And there were a lot of, there were a lot of good players there on yeah, the day, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sure actually, a lot of Gloucester travel. You've yeah, I managed to avoid a lot of good. Yeah, so the likes of say Dave Holland were down there, and uh, obviously the locals Tim. Tim Fowler was around as well. Yeah, uh, so you had yeah, at least two from, world top eight in Bristol. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, At minimum. Um, Chris Darmot made. Uh, he didn't not worlds, but he did well at nationals as well. For instance, yeah. he's regular around the cut. Uh, yeah, that kind of T- thing. the finalists were two, th- at least four time store champ winners. So yeah, it was a yeah. t- tight field. Yes. Um, um, yeah, and in fact, that brings an end to our store championship coverage. Okay. No more store champs for this year. Um, On to regionals. On to regionals, except regionals haven't happened yet. Jerry, ah, so yeah, we need to fill. It, we need to fill in the gap a little bit. Um, so uh, next, so we're going to do some GNKs and stuff. Um, for some, a few weeks some fluff. to pad it out Pad <laughs> padding yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, as if as, as if this was a sign in the next game we're going to have some real real nobodies uh, we're going to have me hooray oh, um, playing against Dave Sayer of Aldershot um, ah. from uh, the Reading GNK which took place in March so this was uh, let me think I think this was post business first okay but pre whatever the one after business first was is he gonna, dogma. Is he going to die all over you? Is that what's going to happen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so this is this is the deck that we've seen lose a lot of times on the yeah. channel. Even though I assure you, it's a phenomenally <laughs> yeah. good deck that wins so often. And this is the the. It's quite good. And I don't know what version this was. He he does number all of his versions. But this but is the yeah. person who built it and the the master pilot. So yeah. we will see. We'll see. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, I assume you knew it was actually. coming. So you. Uh, oh, I absolutely. You had some. Knew. You had some, you had some tricks up your sleeve, maybe. It's funny actually. Um, whenever Dave goes to a tournament, he. Uh, he's very coy when you ask him what he's playing and you say, oh, well, I bet you're playing, uh, you know, 13-click diaper. And he's like, oh, well, maybe. 13? Or whatever, or whatever, you know. 22 or something. It's it's 13 in my head, but yeah. Um, Whenever, uh, so, you know, you'll ask him and he'll... He'll be like, oh, you know, no, not necessarily, but it is. It always is, yeah. and he might change IDs. Whenever, he, whenever, I, whenever he's like, oh, See, this week, this week I'm playing noise, and I'm just like, oh, I wonder what, how he's doing diaper in that because he yeah. did actually play noise at a tournament yeah. recently, and it wasn't. It, it was, was just, just a noise, noise deck. But you were trying to work out how yeah, he was going to like, hyperdrive in and I, destroy you. Yeah. Yes, it's inconceivable. He's not playing that mad deck. Um, the other thing that's interesting is if he's playing against one of us, he'll we all know. drop things like DDoSs and he mediums and keyholes yeah. early. But if he's playing someone who doesn't know it's coming, he will try and set up without installing hyperdrives, DDoSs, keyholes, yeah. or mediums because 
I mean, now everyone knows, and he's sort of moving away from playing it a bit, but mm. it's interesting how you, based on whether your opponent knows what you're doing, you can just set up optimally, or you can keep it secret for longer, which is in your interest. Because yeah. the amount of times I've seen people go, oh, this game's going quite easy. The guy hasn't even run. I'm going to win. I'm on five points. I'm winning next turn. And then he goes, then kaboom. okay, I pipe through three hydro drivers, and then they just sit back and go, yeah. I'm going to lose. Yeah. Well, yeah. Where did that come from? <laughs> yeah. And you see it on stream, you saw it happen to Laurie on stream. You've seen it happen on a few times. Mm. It's a great deck. Yeah. Um, so I'm yeah. looking forward to watching it. Yeah, I always yeah. love it's, watching it's, it happen. It's, it's, it's fun. Just, yeah. It's great fun. Um, and it is different when the opponent knows as well. So, I, I mean, for my own part, I was playing um, a uh, Fast Advance NEH, and it was. Uh, so, my plan was basically just to race. And um, yeah, before they're ready, try and protect the Jacksons because Jacksons are incredible, or hide them at least because uh, Jacksons yeah. are really useful. Um, if CBS, you can force, if you can very force him useful. to go when he's only got two hyper drivers or even one hyper driver, mm. and none of the all nighters, that sort of thing, then he's less likely to get the seven points he needs in that one turn. Well, so. the real secret way to beat that deck is to score all your winning points in one turn. So you can't see it coming, yeah. and with enough with enough Sand Sands and Astro Counters and Baltics and team sponsorships, you can do it. Yeah. You can score like five points in a turn, um, and yeah, and he's not ready for that. So that's the best way. But. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, so that'd be good All to right. see. We'll see um, that. That's what's next. And that's a Reading GNK. So that was a Reading yeah. GNK. Yeah, that was a March GNK. Yeah, um, and we'll have some other GNKs as well uh, in the future. So um, yeah. That'd be good. Oh, it would be exciting to have myself on and I'll try and remain neutral. <laughs> remain neutral. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, viewer, I'd like to remind you that if you'd like to watch any more of our videos, you can find them all at the website neoreddinggrid.co.uk. You can find us on Twitter and on Facebook as well. And if you'd like to support us on Patreon, all contributions are most welcome and go towards improving the channel. Thank you, Joe, for helping commentate. Thank you very much. Thank you, viewer, for watching and we'll see you next time.